Welcome! Today I will show you a recap film inspired by a video game created by Capcom. When Captain Artemis and her loyal soldiers find themselves in a strange new world, they must fight desperately to survive against massive enemies wielding extraordinary powers. The film from 2020, titled Monster Hunter. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. In a place known as the New World, a group of hunters embarks on a ship journeying across vast expanses of desert sand. Their journey takes a perilous turn when they inadvertently disturb a formidable creature known as a Diablos, dwelling within the sands. As the beast retaliates, chaos ensues, and amidst the turmoil, one solitary hunter is separated from the rest of the crew, falling from the ship and abandoned by his comrades. In our reality, a squad of soldiers, under the command of Captain Natalie Artemis, convenes in the desert for a crucial mission. Artemis guides her team, comprised of Dash, Link, Marshall, Steeler, and Axe, to a location marked by several indicators. They stumble upon a peculiar storm triggered by these markers, which they found on their way. Suddenly, the earth convulses, splitting apart beneath them, causing Artemis and her companions to plummet into a deep crevice formed by the unfolding chaos. As the team awakens amidst the desolate desert, they stumble upon the harrowing sight of their fellow soldiers from the B-team, reduced to charred remnants by a force far beyond any human creation. With Captain Artemis at the helm, they press onward in their vehicle, navigating the rugged terrain until they encounter a bizarre sight, a colossal ribcage looming in the distance. Unbeknownst to them, a mysterious figure, the Hunter, observes from afar, attempting to signal them with an arrow coated in chalk, but their instincts interpret the gesture as hostile, prompting a volley of gunfire in response. Before they can grasp the gravity of their misunderstanding, the relentless Diablos, a fearsome creature of the desert, begins its relentless pursuit from beneath the Earth's surface. Bursting forth from the sand with terrifying force, the creature sets its sights on the hapless team, driving them into a frantic struggle for survival. Despite their valiant efforts to fend off the beast, tragedy strikes as Axe falls victim to a lethal swing of the Diablos' immense strength, while Steeler meets a grisly fate impaled upon its razor-sharp horn. Desperate and outmatched, the survivors find temporary refuge within the shelter of a nearby cave, narrowly evading the relentless wrath of the Diablos as it prowls the desert above, its primal instincts driving it ever closer to their fragile sanctuary. As night falls and the team seeks refuge, they unwittingly stumble into the domain of another perilous creature lurking in the shadows, the Nursilla, monstrous spiders dwelling within the caverns. In a horrific turn of events, Captain Artemis falls victim to the voracious appetite of one of these arachnids, meeting a grisly end before Captain Artemis is abruptly incapacitated. Regaining consciousness, Artemis finds herself ensnared within a cocoon spun by the cunning Nursilla. Her heart sinks as she discovers Dash's lifeless form nearby, prompting her desperate struggle to break free before sharing his fate. Amidst the chaos, she encounters a barely conscious Link, whose agonized cries reveal a ghastly truth. His body serves as a host for a grotesque cluster of eggs, a horrifying revelation that seals his tragic destiny. With terror mounting as the eggs begin to hatch, Artemis watches in horror as the larger Nursilla descends upon Link, its insatiable hunger consuming him as she flees in a desperate bid for survival. Emerging from the cavern's depths into the light of day, Artemis discovers a glimmer of hope amidst the darkness. The Nursilla, weakened by the daylight, retreat, offering a fleeting respite from the relentless onslaught of terror. Artemis and the hunter stumble upon each other, each convinced the other is a threat. A tense skirmish follows, culminating in the hunter capturing Artemis and dragging her to his cave to evade the lurking Nursilla. Inside the cave, he withholds food and water from her while they both listen anxiously to the creatures outside. Eventually, Artemis manages to free herself and resumes the confrontation with the hunter, taking matters into her own hands by restraining him. In a heated exchange, he kicks away the water she desperately needs, prompting her to retaliate by targeting two small items seemingly precious to him. As their clash escalates, drawing more Nursilla closer, they reluctantly agree to a temporary truce. In a surprising gesture of goodwill, Artemis offers the hunter some chocolate from her supplies, which unexpectedly piques his interest. In return, he relents and provides her with the water she had been denied. Artemis expresses her urgent need to return home via the same portal that brought her to this unfamiliar realm, but obstacles stand in her way, particularly the formidable Diablos. In a stroke of ingenuity, the hunter proposes a plan to utilize the venom of the Nursilla to incapacitate the Diablos. 
Together, they lay a cunning trap for one of the Nursilla, successfully extracting a fong from the subdued creature before seeking refuge in their cave. Within the confines of the cave, Artemis takes the opportunity to educate the hunter in her language, fostering a deeper understanding between them. In a poignant exchange, she learns of the two cherished figures the hunter carries, symbolic of his beloved wife and child, tragically lost some time ago. This mutual sharing of knowledge and experiences strengthens their bond as they prepare to face the looming challenges ahead. Collaboratively, they embark on preparations for the impending confrontation, with the hunter imparting his knowledge of weaponry to Artemis. Their plan involves leading the creature to a shipwreck, where they unleash a barrage of arrows coated with venom from the Nursilla. The following day, Artemis and the hunter set out to confront the Diablos. While Artemis rains down her arrows upon the Diablos, the hunter attempts to pierce the monster's skull with his sword. Despite his efforts, the Diablos manages to knock him off. Undeterred, Artemis ascends to the top of the creature's head and drives the sword deeper into its skull until the beast succumbs. With the threat vanquished, Artemis rushes to aid the fallen hunter, successfully reviving him. Together, they press on with their perilous journey. As they journey, the duo arrives in a region populated by peaceful herbivorous creatures. Beyond lies the Sky Tower, their ticket back to Artemis's world. Before nightfall, they take time to gather supplies, ensuring they have enough food and water, and then settle down to camp. However, their tranquility is shattered when a massive winged beast known as the Rat Halo swoops in, setting the forest ablaze. Panic ensues among the other creatures as they flee, engulfed in flames. Suddenly, the hunter's former companions, led by the Admiral, rush in to contain the chaos and rescue Artemis and the hunter. Just as Artemis expresses her gratitude, the Admiral inexplicably strikes her unconscious, leaving the duo in a precarious situation. Artemis awakens to find herself imprisoned, confined within the bars of a cage. The fellow crew members observe her like some exotic creature in a menagerie. Among them is a feline, a humanoid cat who serves as their chef. The Admiral, the leader of this group, approaches and releases Artemis from her captivity. He explains that his actions stem from a desire to protect his world, expressing his awareness of others like Artemis who have crossed over into this realm. According to him, the gateway between worlds poses a significant threat to their world due to the influence of outsiders like Artemis. The Admiral further elaborates on the dangers posed by the Rat Halos, a formidable creature lurking in their midst. He reveals that the beast is most vulnerable before it unleashes its fiery breath. Together, they devise a plan to confront the Rat Halos, aiming to exploit its weakness in order to facilitate Artemis's return home. Artemis trails behind the Admiral and his crew as they launch their assault on the fearsome Rat Halos. In the midst of the chaos, as the creature unleashes its fury upon them, Artemis finds herself running along a precarious ledge atop the Sky Tower. In a desperate bid to escape, she leaps off the ledge, hurtling back into her own world. Rescued by fellow soldiers upon her return, Artemis's relief is short-lived as the Rat Halos breaches the barrier between worlds, wreaking havoc upon the soldiers. Amidst the carnage, Artemis seizes a crossbow and an explosive device, her determination burning bright. With nerves of steel, she waits for the perfect moment, timing her shot just as the Rat Halos prepares to unleash its fiery breath. The explosion rocks the creature from within, but it remains defiant, still a formidable foe. Just as all hope seems lost, the hunter arrives, firing explosive arrows with precision, dealing a fatal blow to the Rat Halos. With the immediate threat neutralized, the Admiral approaches Artemis, his expression grave as he warns of another impending monster attack. Undeterred, Artemis resolves to stand alongside her newfound allies, ready to face whatever challenges lie ahead. Together, they steel themselves for yet another battle, prepared to defend their world against the encroaching darkness.